What's going on everyone? It's Mike back again. Um, match preview. Uh, Everton take on Wolves at Goodison Park. Again, um, it's going to be difficult for both sides for different reasons. Wolves, very similar to us actually. Started the season quite well. Good performance. First game but lost. Same as us. Um, second game, played really poorly um, and didn't get a result. Um, well, quite frankly got hammered just like us both clubs sitting in the bottom three it's two games in so you can't read into that too much but look we we know that this is difficult we know this is a game that Everton probably need to get three points losing at home to Fulham was, in, was embarrassing not because Fulham were a bad side but because we simply couldn't put the ball in the net then we go away to Villa and let's be honest a lot of us were, were not expecting a good result but the performance was shocking we need to bounce back in this game. Um, I watched the Sean Dyche press conference and I'm going to be straight. I was not blown away at all by it. Um, I was disappointed actually in some of his comments. And it's had a bit of a mixed reaction on Twitter as well. You know, some people backing me, supporting what I said. and Some people just, just being disrespectful as always. But that's what happens. You put your head above the parapet and... You know, pe people are there to shoot at you, aren't they? Um, and, and they have. But they also, a lot of people have agreed. And some some people have actually gone one step further and already called him for Sean Dyche to be sacked. I'm not in that boat yet. Um, but I do need to see an improvement. I, I need to see I need to see Michael King dropped, if I'm being honest. I need to see him coming out of the side. He is not good enough. Um Again, I'm not. I'm not saying he hasn't got the desire to play for Everton. I'm not saying he hasn't got the right attitude. But when it comes down to brass stats, statistics, we can see more goals with him in the team than we do without him in the team. So why is he playing? You know, we've got a Jared Branthwaite who had a fantastic Under Twenty Ones tournament, who also went um, to PSV last season and was re really, really good. I, I just, I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't understand the logic of, of keeping Michael Keane. And, you know, there, there was rumours of Branthwaite potentially leaving for 15 million. And I sit there and I think, why would you do that? Why would you get rid of someone who, in my opinion, is going to be a fantastic centre-half going forward and in his career? And, you know, you play Michael Keane, who is definitely at the tail end of his Premier League career. Like, he really is. Like, he... He's never going to get to a higher club than Everton. Um, I, I, I'm just, I'm just disappointed. I'm just disappointed. I'm disappointed that he made that joke as well regarding Harry Kane. I didn't see the need for it. Again, people will disagree with me, and that's fine. That's what, that's what I'm here for. You know, it's. But I just didn't think think it was needed. It was a serious press conference with with serious discussions, and you know, I was really impressed with Vinnie O'Connor actually, who was pressing dice. I'm playing, changing the team and, you know, starting a striker. We brought in Youssef Chimiti and I'm being told by Dyche that, you know, he's not ready. Well, he was ready. He was match fit. So the only thing that's changed is he's not playing matches. You know, give give the kid a chance. He doesn't have to start. Put him on the bench. And and when, he was, when Dyche was asked about that, Dyche was just like... He, he was just really coy about it. What what is to be coy about? It's not like Wolves have gone off oh, right. Chimiti might be might be available forever, and we're in trouble. It doesn't matter if you say he's going to be on the bench or not. It really doesn't. Um, but it also says when you're signing players like Chimiti that you don't fancy Tom Cannon, who who has been really good. You know he he was great on loan last season. He's been great in the in the youth ranks for a long time. You know, you're basically saying that you, you don't trust him to do the business, you don't trust him to deliver, and you're going to trust your mystery in years' time. It just, it, it smells shit to me. And I, and I, I can't be arsed with it. I can't be arsed with the excuses. You know, if he starts Michael Key and comes out on Saturday if we've lost a game, and he says, you know, we, you know, defending doesn't just start from the back, it starts in midfield... Mate, we know we've got no we've got no attacking impetus in midfield either. So every time we lose the ball, the ball is going backwards. Exactly what happened at Burnley. It's just it's so frustrating to sit there, see all of the common faults, 
and a manager who is paid millions of pounds a year isn't, and it's not like I'm the only one, it's not like I'm sitting here with a, with a magical board seeing the future. No, it's just obvious. It's, it is obvious, but you know, when you're playing James Gone on the right hand side of midfield, it is obvious that there is going to be a loop, a, a, an overlapping problem. You know, Luca Dean literally had acres, he literally had the freedom of Villa Park last weekend. Last weekend, he had freedom to do what he liked. And, and we know how dangerous he is because he did it for us. The, the, the crosses into the box, the set pieces, we know how dangerous he is. You know, Villa, Villa are no mugs. And they repeatedly proved that last week. And we're going in to this game off the back of a really disappointing result in disappointing fashion. And I'm not confident that we're going to get a reaction. I'm not, I'm not sitting there going, we're going to beat Wolves this weekend. It's wrong. It's it's such a shit position. And look, I get, I get part of the problem is not Dosh. The big, the biggest part of the problem is not Sean Dosh. It absolutely isn't because he's been dealt this pack of cards that, quite frankly, couldn't lace up the football boots of any decent Premier League player because a lot of them either don't give a toss, aren't good enough, and shouldn't be at the football club. But they are. That we are where we are, you know, we've blown millions of pounds, we've had better summers, better transfer windows, and we are where we are for a reason. It is a disgrace, but the simple fact of the matter is, I'm hoping for a decent team selection with players who are actually going to play in their positions and actually do a job. Because, quite honestly, James Garner on the right-hand side doesn't work. Starting Michael Keane doesn't work. Neil Morpay is probably going to have to start. How horrendous is that? You know, how horrendous is that? And I'm not sitting there saying, again, Neil Morpay is a bad person, bad attitude. I'm, he's not. But he's not good enough. He's not Premier League good enough. And we're going up against a Wolves side that, quite honestly, you know, loads of people were saying, oh, there's going to be big problems. They're going to go down. They've got financial fair play issues. Because like, we know, we understand, we actually get it. Um, they've got a better team than us. They're much better than we are. And, 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 we could sit here and we can talk about how positive we can go into this game and our front three and our front two and our midfield and how we need to line up defensively. Facts are we need to win. We're three games into the season and this has already been deemed a must-win game. You know, you've got people on the radio talking about how this is absolutely imperative for Everton that they win. And you've got people talking about that if Everton go into this game and lose... Then we've got prices on our hands. You know, Sean Dyche, I've got no idea why he's picked some of the people he's picked. But he's the manager that is taking the bullet fundamentally from the board as well. So, I feel sorry for Sean Dyche, but I need him to make his job easier by making better team selections, better substitutions. And by I mean better, not starting Michael Keane and not putting James Garner on the right hand side. My team for this game is 4-3-3. Pickford, Ashley Young, James Tarkovsky, Grant White, Patterson, midfield three, Anana, James Garner, and the Dries and Garner guy. And up front, on the left hand side, we go Dan Juma. In the middle, we go more pay because we have no other option. And on the right hand side, we go Lewis Dobby. That's my team. Do I have the confidence for that team to go and beat Wolves? I honestly couldn't tell you right now. What I do know is Wolves have got loads of pace, can easily get in behind. And if we had problems with Aston Villa on the left-hand side, or our right-hand side, if we do start James Garner on the right-hand side, everything will come down that side and we will be in deep shit. So, look, I'm leaving it there. Score prediction, I'm going Everton. A very passionate 1-0 but I'm not confident I'm not confident at all and uh, and we'll see guys look I'm leaving it there um, I'm still enjoying myself in sunny Mallorca um, it's lovely weather uh, I haven't been able to sit in it it's been that hot being pasty pay with ginger I can't cope um, so yeah so uh, match reaction will be tomorrow and then the next time you see a video I'll be back in the setting back with the mic back with the proper setup and you'll actually be able to hit me guys see you soon peace